good morning. God bless you. Good morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Glory to God. Ah, my God. Good morning. Yes. Come on. I'm not defeated, but I'm triumphant. Come on. Hey, good morning. God bless you. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. I'm not defeated, but I am triumphant. Yes. Glory to God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Yes. Be defeated. Yes. Hallelujah. There is victory. Yes. Ah, oh, my God. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. Good morning. Try up. Yes. Try up. Thank you, Lord. It's already mine. Yes. Yes. Good morning. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. I speak right. Try up. I'm, I'm not defeated, but try up. Yes. Good morning, good morning, try up. I'm not defeated, try up. The battle is already won. The battle is already won. Ah, there's a greater power. Praise the Lord. Come on. In, in heaven. Come on, hallelujah. The, I have the victory. I'm more than a conqueror. Yes. Come on, yes. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Good morning. God bless you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Come on, celebrate with us. But wow, we are triumphant. Triumph. Yes, good morning, God bless you. A conqueror. I'm, I'm not defeated. Woo. More than a conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror. Good morning. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm more than. I'm more than a conqueror. 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 I'm not the beat. I'm not the beat. I'm not the beat. I'm not the beat. I'm not defeated. Woo! I'm more defeated. I'm not defeated. Woo! I'm not defeated. Woo! I'm not defeated. Woo! I'm not defeated. Defeated. Woo! Defeated. Got to feel it. Feel it. Hey, feel it. Got to feel it. Woo! Hey. Bless you. God bless you. Good morning. God bless you. I'm not defeated today. Hey, God. And anything for the rest of my life in Jesus' name. Oh, God. Woo! Hey. Thank you, Lord. Ah, my God. Ah. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Well, bless you. And good morning. Thank God for all of you that have come on this Thank morning. You. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you. Listen, I am super encouraged on this morning. Yes. I'm not defeated. I'm more than a conqueror. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That will, in Jesus' name, I, by faith, amen, I would stand on his word. 
amen, and his principles for the rest of my life. Listen, I'm excited. I am encouraged, and I pray that you, amen, are, glory to God, encouraged on this morning. We are truly grateful. Listen, triumphant, but still humble. Come on, somebody. Triumphant, but still humble. It's something about being triumphant, but know how to continue to walk in humility. Glory to God. You can have houses, land, cars, whatever you may have, but glory to God, we are, glory to God, triumphant, but still humble. Listen, Jesus was our example. And glory to God, when they, glory to God, when he came in, amen, on that Palm Sunday, amen, which we celebrate, glory to God, yeah. at a Palm Sunday, amen, on a donkey, amen, glory to God, in Jesus' name. And well, we are yet, amen, thankful, amen, for what he's done, amen, he was triumphant, but yet humble. Come on, somebody. Let me say that again. He was triumphant but still humble, amen, even coming in on one of the, amen, lowest of, some may call animals, but he was still humble. Good morning, daughter. Bless you on today. Listen, this is a principle that we must live by. One of the things that we have to do is have an attitude of gratitude, amen, confidence, amen, not cocky, amen, but we must understand, glory to God, that there is, glory to God, a, glory to God, way of position that we must have in the kingdom of God against the kingdom of darkness. I am truly excited about this word. Amen. Good morning and welcome. Amen. As we celebrate Palm Sunday. Amen. The Sunday that Jesus, amen, entered in. Amen. Glory to God on the donkey. Amen. Glory to God. Some would say the ass. Amen. Glory to God. But he came in triumphant. Even in his humility, he came in triumphant. Listen, I am grateful and thankful for all those that are coming on on this morning. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for sharing the broadcast. Listen, I want to again recognize all those that have been supporting, amen, this broadcast that has been supporting this ministry that has been supporting the things of God. I want you to know we appreciate you. And we thank you, amen, for what you are doing. Amen. I appreciate you. Good morning, daughter. Good morning. Amen. Good to see you on. And glory to God in Jesus' name. Welcome to the True Life International Fellowship. Amen. International Fellowship Ministries. Amen. Jacksonville, North Carolina. I want you to know this morning, amen, glory to God. Triumphant. That's right. But still humble. Amen. That's glory to God. If you don't get anything else. Amen. Jesus, glory to God, came in one way. God, happy Palm Sunday to each and every one of you. Amen. As we as Christians, as we as believers celebrate yes. his triumphant, but yet still humble. And so on today, we are truly grateful and thankful and blessed. Amen. To be alive. We thank God, even in the pandemic, we still, amen, are triumphant. Amen. To all of the stuff that may have taken place in our lives, we're still triumphant. There's an attitude of triumphant. Amen. Yeah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We lift you up. We honor you on today. We thank you for our life. Lord, we recognize that it's you, God, that have given us life and given it to us more abundantly. We thank you, Lord God, for we walking in you. Lord, greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. We thank you for the triumphant Lordness in, in you, God. We thank you, Lord God, even as believers and Christians and disciples that we, Lord God, share, Lord God, your triumphant. We share in your triumphantness, God. And we thank you for that. And we give you praise and we lift you up for who you are in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good morning again and welcome again to the True Life International Fellowship uh, Ministries here. Glory to God, Jacksonville, North Carolina. Thank you for being with us as we trans, amen, transition from tragedy to triumphant. Our subtopic is being able, and it's sometimes it's not it's not easy to transition from tragedy, amen. Something that may have caused trauma. We talked about trauma some weeks ago, amen. Glory to God. Something that has, has hurt us, amen. That but we must understand how to transition from tragedy to triumphant. Some say, well, that's just overconfident. It's over. Amen. No, you have to understand who you are yeah. and whose you are. 
Amen. There shouldn't be a day. Listen, I don't, God didn't take off, so I can't take off. <laughs> Come on, glory to God. God didn't take off, so I, he's our example. Amen, beloved. He's our example. And so we must tune in and we must still engage even when we may have experienced tragedy. Good morning, daughter. God bless you. It's good to see you on as well. So our subtopic today is knowing how to transition from tragedy to glory to God to being triumphant. Amen. In other words, we must understand how to cause our tragedies to cause us to step up. Come on, somebody. It caused our tragedies to, yes. to allow us to use them as stepping stone. Yes. It's when we get stuck, beloved. It's when we allow the worlds and the situations of this world to cause us to stop to block, glory to God, our next level. And guess what? Only we can do that. Amen. Only you can do that. You have to be able to get past. Oh, I'm teaching good right now. I ain't even there, glory to God. You got to know how to get past all of that. Never, uh, uh, glory to God, uh, uh, I think the world called it, don't let the enemy see you sweat. Woo, glory to God. What a revelation. Glory to God. Because you know how to transition from tragedy to triumphant. You would never know, Lord of God, the experiences that I experience on a daily basis. Why? Because I understand, glory to God, how to transition. And just like Jesus did when he came in on that ass, on the donkey, he knew how to transition. And so he is helping us today. He is in encouraging us on today. He is bringing us hope on today. See, my hope is built, God bless you, on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I'm telling you today that I am triumphant, but still humble. Listen, God bless you. Look at all those that are coming in. Bless you, overseer. Bless you. You got to know how to get past your tragedy. Woo! So many times we allow the experiences of this world to cause us to be in tragedy and we live that tragedy. We, we, we stay in the tragedy. Our mind, amen, stay right there. But it's when you can shift, whoo, glory to God. God is shifting us. Glory to God. That's why this Palm Sunday, I encourage you to get past your tragedy so that you can experience your trium triumphant. Whoo, glory to God. Some of us, we have not experienced true triumphantness because we can't get past the tragedies of our lives. And so today we bring you good tidings. We bring you hope. We bring you peace. We bring you love. Amen. Glory to God. Sometimes even we may see it as a triumph tragedy. God sees it as a triumphant. And so on this morning, we want to talk about the Lord's triumphant, amen, entry. Amen. You need to hear that. We want to talk for a moment, amen, about the Lord's triumphant entry. Yes. Amen. From the book of Mark. Amen. Glory to God. The 11th chapter giving you Bible, not my opinion, not what I think about it. The same word that is good for you is good thing. Look at this. Mark 11 and verse number one. I'm going to ask you to read it. Glory to God. If in Jesus name. What does it say? And when they came nigh to Jerusalem and to Bethphage and to Bethany and at the Mount of Olives, he <sighs> sent it forth two of his disciples and said to them, go your way to the village over against you. And as soon as you be entered into it, you shall find a colt tied there on never a man sat. Mm -hmm. Loose him and bring him. Loose him and what? Bring him. Bring him. Come on. Woo! And if any man say unto you, why do you this? Mm -hmm. Say the Lord has need of him. Say that the Lord has need. Even out of a tragedy, God still has need. I want you to hear this. Good morning, brother. Good morning. I'm telling you, you all are coming in on this morning. We love you. We appreciate you. God still have need for you. Read what it say. And straightway he will send him hither. Mm -hmm. And they went their way and found the coat tied by the door without in a place where two ways meet. Mm -hmm. And they loosed him. And they what? And they loosed him. They loosed him. When you understand that even in a tragic situation, God will allow you to be loose, but that loosing has to start in the mind. Ooh, glory to God. It's not always a physical 
tied up. It's not always a physical situation, but a lot of times, most of times, if I can be honest, it's a mind thing. And God is trying to work and to help us get past, glory to God, what God is trying to get us to, amen, what God is trying to get us through. Oh, come on, somebody. God is trying to get us to, but there's got to be some releasing. Come on, read. What is that? Ah, uh, what a revelation today. What a revelation. Anybody, I pray you're receiving this today. I'm telling you, I feel a revelation on this morning. I feel breakthrough on this morning. Somebody that's watching this live is going to be broke through. It's going to get a breakthrough if they would just tune in and really hear what God is saying today. Triumphant, but still humble. Glory to God. God is trying to transition you from being, glory to God, one that believes that everything I've been through was to kill me. No, God says, tell them that I have still need for you. <sighs> through all of what has happened, God still have need for you. <laughs> I want somebody to put that in the comment if you don't mind. For all you may have ex experienced, God still have need for you. <laughs> Do all of the stuff maybe you didn't do so well. Come on, somebody. God still have need for you. Yes, maybe you have sinned and, and maybe you have come short of the glory of God. God still have need uh, for you. He still need you in the army of the Lord. He can use you, amen, in Jesus' name. But there must be a confession. There must be a repentance. And God, amen, wants to save you, amen, and he wants to heal you where you hurt. But there must be a releasing. Read what it said. Glory to God. Thank you, God. Thank God for this word this morning. Hallelujah. They went and found the coat tied by the door without a place where two ways. And a certain man of them stood there and said unto them, What doeth ye loosen in the coat? Come on. And they said unto them, Even as Jesus had commanded them, and they let him go. So, what you must understand, if you will, beloved, is that when they got the instructions, I want you to understand today that one instruction, if you would receive it, can bring you out of every bit of bondage. Uh, glory to God, but you got to be willing. Listen, and you don't know who that instruction will come from. Oh, oh, T Hawkins. Amen. You don't know. You cannot, glory to God, look at what a person does, what a person not does. You never know where that instruction will come from. But in this case, the Lord instructed them. He said, if anybody asks, let's go. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I believe that's in verse, what, six? Glory to God. He says, and they said unto them, even as Jesus had commanded, and they let them go. Look at here. Number seven, and they brought the coat, amen, to Jesus and cast their garments on him and sat upon him, amen. And many, amen, spread their garments in the way and the others cut down branches off the trees and, amen, and, 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 and straw them in the way, amen. And they, glory to God, that went before and they that followed, come on, and they that what? Follow. Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. It's the enemy that wants us not to follow. Amen. Well, I got it. I want to be the leader. I gotta do. I gotta be the head. I gotta come on. Listen, you we gotta stop the debate and deal with according to the word of God. This is not what I believe. Or, I mean, think about it, but this is what I believe about it, according to the word of God. It says, and those that follow cried, saying, Hosanna. Blessed is, is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Blessed be the kingdom of our father David uh -huh. that cometh in the name of the Lord. We must understand those that come yes. in the name of the Lord. Yes. Stop trying to discern, second guess, Stop trying to believe that it ain't how it should be. See, we don't know, glory to God. But if you look at the scripture, beloved, you will see it was those that came, look at this, in the name of the Lord. It says, blessed be the kingdom of our father David that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Mark 11, 11. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, this is what I want to kind of keen in on, but we had to get here. Look at this. And Jesus entered into Jerusalem and into the temple. Uh -huh. And when he had looked round about upon all things, and now, 
glory to God, even tide was come, uh -huh. he went out unto Bethany with the twelve. Yes. Listen, I need you to understand, beloved, glory to God, we celebrate as, glory to God, hallelujah, Christians today, Palm Sunday, uh -huh. as known as Passion Sunday. Yes. It is the beginning of Holy Week, and it is recognized as a day that Jesus made his triumphant entry unto Jerusalem. Well, Jesus rode humbly on a donkey uh -huh. and, and was met by multitudes of people laying palms, leaves, clothed in his path. Amen. Shouting Hosanna in the, the, to the son of David. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Uh -huh. Hosanna in the highest. But what is the meaning of this decision is to ride into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey. I need you to understand the significance. The problem is that everybody want to be boss. Everybody want to be in charge. But if you notice, Jesus rode on a donkey. And glory to God, he didn't come, glory to God, in his three-piece suit. He didn't come, glory to God, hallelujah, with all pleasures of life. He didn't come, glory to God, with all the money, amen, in the bank. But he came humbly on a donkey. Lord, I, if, uh, glory to God, this will preach, if, glory to God, but I'm just trying to set some foundation. He came on a donkey. The problem is many of us don't want to have nothing to do with a donkey. We don't want to have nothing to do, glory to God, with one of, glory to God, maybe the most stubbornest animals on the earth. Glory to God, but God still can use a donkey. Glory to God, look at here. God still can use a donkey. What is the meaning of his decision to ride into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey? It teaches us, watch this, that the only path to victory Glory to God over evil is the royal road of humility. Wow, look at this. The only path to victory. The problem is most of us want victory, but what road are we willing to take? Woo, this is good. Amen. At first glance, it may seem there's nothing very triumphant about Jesus riding into Jerusalem on, glory to God, a pre-owned donkey. Now, y'all got, did you catch that? He rode on a pre-owned donkey. Donkey, a man over a bunch of a man worn clothes and 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 palm leaves, but was closer, a man with a closer in, in, in examination. Glory to God, you can unveil the triumphant victory this entry was proclaiming. Watch this, Jesus entered. Glory to God, entry proclaims him as the Messiah. Let me say that again, Jesus entry proclaims him as the Messiah. What is so wonderful about the victory of Jesus is not necessarily what it looked like. I, I, listen, you got to get past what it looked like. Woo, glory to God. I, somebody need to put that in the comment section. You got to get past what it looked like. You got to get past what it appears. You got to get past what it looked like. Yeah. You got to get past what you think about it. Yes, it may not come the way you want it to come. Yeah. It may not look the way you want it to look. Yeah. Watch this. It may not sound the way you want it to sound. Yeah. But glory to God, we got to get past what it looked like. Look at this. Amen. Amen. But glory to God, we must understand that it was it was not necessarily what glory it wasn't necessarily what it looked at like, but rather what it fulfilled. I want you to, as I set more foundation, glory to God. Thank you, daughter. Thank you, son. Thank you for coming on. Good to see you, son. Amen. Zechariah 9 and verse number 9. Amen. We got to get past what it looked like. Glory to God. You got to understand that what it looked like don't necessarily mean that's what it is. Just cause it reminded you of a situation that you went through, they're talking about tragedy, don't mean that it's there this time to cause tragedy. Yeah. Some things I mean, may get harder and harder and harder, but it don't mean that it's there 
to cause you to throw in the towel. You you cannot allow the emotionalism. Oh, come on, help me. You cannot allow the emotionalism of the world society to dictate to you how it looks. Well, I'm going to only respond based up on my emotional state of mind, my only station, my emotional state of being. Yes. You, you don't understand. I'm fragile. I'm going through. Yes, I understand. You may be all of those things, and we are not here to glory to God minimize your fragileness. But at the same time, yeah. you got to understand in order for you to get glory to God to the next level wow. and what God is trying to do in your life, well, you're going to have to experience glory to God something greater and something greater is more than what it looked like. Woo, glory to God. Zechariah 9 and 9. But the Bible says, glory to God. Amen. Let us read what it says. Glory to God. Amen. Rejoice, daughter of Zion. Shout, daughter. Rejoice greatly. The problem is you got to learn how to confuse the enemy. Stop allowing pouting and, and, and manipulate. Come on. You got to come out of that behavior if you're trying to get to the next level. Woo! This is good teaching today. The Bible says in Zechariah 9 and 9, it says what? Rejoice what? Wait. Greatly. Daughter of what? Zion. Woo! Shout, daughter. Glory to God, Jerusalem, see your king comes to you, righteous and what? Victorious, glory to God. In other words, you got to know, glory to God, that even though he came on a donkey, even though he came on the lowest of animals, oh my God, he was yet still triumphant, glory to God. Even though he came, glory to God. On the lowest of, of, of animal, he still knew, glory to God, that God was with him. Come on, even though Jesus, glory to God, was, was praised that particular day. Oh, come on. Glory to God. But you got to understand that even though he was praised, good morning. God bless you, daughter. Amen. God still is using him. Why? God is still using you. He still wants to use you. He still desires to use you. He still, is, glory to God, wants, glory to God, you to give him glory. Glory to God, even in your difficult time. Come on. Hallelujah. What does it say? Read. Righteous and victorious, lowly, and riding on a donkey. Come on. The fall of a donkey. Come on. Hallelujah. Look at this. Go with me to. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The prophet Zach Zechariah proclaimed, amen, some great words. Hallelujah. He said, glory to God, daughter of Zion, shout in triumph. Daughter of Jerusalem, look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious, humble and riding on a donkey. Glory to God. Or on a coat. Glory to God. The Glory to God. The, the file of a donkey. We must understand that it looks crazy to some that Jesus decided to come in on one of the greatest moments in his life on a donkey. Glory to God. Go with me to Matthew 21 and verse number five. For the Bible says, glory to God, in Matthew 21 and verse number five. What does it say? Say to the daughter of the Zion, see your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey on a colt. The fall of a donkey. Mm. Glory to God. The fall, the file of a donkey. I'm going to go with me to John 12 and 15 as we set more foundation this morning. Glory to God. What does it say? John 12 and 15. Don't be afraid, O daughter of Zion. Uh -huh. See, your, your king is coming. Come on. Seated on the colt of a donkey. Come on. Look at this. Jesus, our Lord, our king, is riding on a donkey. Oh, my God. Look at this. Read Isaiah 9 and 6. What does the Bible say? For unto, for unto us a child is born. Uh -huh. Unto us a son is given. Read. And the government will be upon his shoulder. Now, understand this was a prophecy because some still, amen, didn't understand how is the government going to be on the shoulder of this man that rode in on a donkey. Come on. Look, look, read. And he will be called wonderful. But he's on a donkey. Come on. Counselor. But he's on a donkey. Come Mighty on. God. But he's on a donkey. Come on. Father. But he's on a donkey. Come on. Prince of peace. But he was riding in on a donkey. Read. Amen. Isaiah 9 and 7. The Bible says this. Glory to God. 
Glory to God. Isaiah of the, 9 and 7. Of the increase of his government mm -hmm. and the peace, there will be no end. Uh huh. He will reign on the throne of David uh -huh. and over the kingdom Read. to establish and sustain it with justice and righteousness from that time and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. Wow. Come on. Oh, my God. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. I need you to understand, beloved, the, the, the significance of Jesus, of our Lord and our Savior of the world coming in and riding on a donkey. I want you to understand that the significance of our Lord, a man that sits, glory to God, in, glory to God, at the right hand of our God, riding in on a donkey. I want you to understand that it was in that humility, it was in his humility that glory to God, he is the king of kings. It was in his humility that he is the Lord of lords. It was in his humility that he is the great I am. It's in his humility that he is the prince of peace. Yeah. Listen, it was his humility that put him where he is today. Oh, y'all didn't catch that. See, the issue is the enemy will always try to get you to see something maybe you're greater than who you are to get you to get out of who God is really trying to get you to be. Oh, did you catch that? The, what I'm trying to get you to see is it was his humility that set up the scene for the whole world to see who Jesus really is. Now, remember, Jesus could have came in, glory to God, with gold and silver. He could have came in, glory to God, in the best of that day, but he chose to come in on a donkey. He chose to ride on a donkey. And it's until we understand the significance of Passion Sunday, it, until we understand, we may not ever understand what God is doing in our life because he says at that low place, the very low place, glory to God, that he came in on. Ooh, glory to God. He came in in significancy. He came in, glory to God, with great quality. I, I, I need to move. I need to move, but I'm trying to get you to see that Jesus was triumphant, but still humble. Amen. He moved from tragedy. Remember, these were the same people that said, Hosanna in the highest. Isaiah 62 and 11, what does the Bible say? Isaiah 62 and 11 says, Behold, the Lord has proclaimed to be the ends of the earth, say unto the daughters of Zion, See your Savior comes. Look, his reward is with him, and he recompense goes before him. Amen. Jeremiah 23 and verse number 6. What did it say? In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell secretly, securely. And this is his name on which he will be called, the Lord our righteousness. The Lord our righteousness. If ever there is a question about who Jesus was and who Jesus is, at that moment, it became very clear. Every Jew, glory to God, would have known his majestic prophecy. That's why the crowds were rejoicing and shouting with praise. That's why they laid their clothes and palm leaves on the ground, because that was the treatment for a king. They believed they had finally found their king. They, glory to God, were right. They had found their king, but not in the manner in which they, glory to God, was supposed. They thought that their king would come in on the best of best. They thought the king should come in, glory to God, not walking on the earth, glory to God. But they would lay things so that he wouldn't have to touch the ground. But our God and our Savior and our Lord, oh God, was the best example that there is. Glory to God, it didn't matter to him, glory to God, because his glory to God sovereignty is still sovereign. It didn't matter what he came in on, but what it matter is, is what we have adopted as Lord and Savior. Jesus' entry was a symbol of peace. Glory to God, scholars attest to the fact that in the ancient Middle Eastern world, a king riding on a horse was a symbol of war, while a king riding on a donkey was a symbol of peace. 
Zechariah 9 and 10 highlights, glory to God, this piece. The Bible says, it says, I will cut off the chariots from Ephraim and the hearts from Jerusalem. The bow of war will be removed and he will proclaim peace to the nations. His glory to God, glory to God, dominion, glory to God will extend from sea to sea, from the Ephraim's river to the ends of the earth. Scripture tells us that Jesus is the Prince of Peace, but the peace that Jesus have given, given, glory to God, it's not the peace that the world can give. Uh -huh. John 14 and 27, right. his entry in Jerusalem and the world brought peace between God and man. Oh, bless his name. Yeah, yeah. I need you to understand the Apostle Paul tells us in the Romans 5 and verse number 1. Therefore, since we have been declared righteousness by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way we can truly live peaceful with God. Jesus entered, glory to God, entry was a proclamation that he alone would, glory to God, reconcile every broken relationship, oh, bless his name, and restore what was lost to the fall. At that time, the Jews, glory to God, hallelujah, believed that Jesus was coming to establish an earthly kingdom, amen, and upset the establishment, the Roman ruleship over Israel. But praise be to God, glory to God, that he established something more greater. He established a spiritual kingdom, and that is to rule in righteousness and injustice, one that can never be destroyed and will never end. Uh, glory to God, those people were honoring Jesus because they believe that Jesus as the Messiah, glory to God, would begin the work, glory to God, of restoration. Glory to God that he arrived marking the beginning of the end of the Roman emperor. Uh -huh. Glory to God that occurred, glory to God that occupied the land. Yeah. They honored Jesus because he was their supposed liberator. Uh -huh. Glory to God freed them from the Roman rule, okay. Romans taxes, and restoring their political pride. Can you imagine living under a foreign power under an authority of those who consider unclean, those who worship idols. Do you see why the people are going wild? Glory to God, the situation of the solution to their biggest problem that he was riding into yeah. the town on a donkey, a donkey for a king. Come on, somebody. I want somebody to put that in the comment section. After driving out demons, healing the sick, uh -huh. raising the dead. It was time for the king of kings to enter the holy city. But to do so, he rode not, glory to God, on the back of a war horse, right. glory to God, but on a donkey. He, glory to God, his companion, glory to God, accompanying him, glory to God, not a sword, but palm, glory to God, branches. Yeah. The moment of the momentum, glory to God, to this victory, glory to God, erected a week later, glory to God, which not an archer, but a crucifixion. He, right. glory to God, his earthly beginning, glory to God was a glory to God fought, glory to God fully by humility. I'm talking to somebody that may not embrace humility, may not understand the art of humility, may not understand what it means to be humble, but I'm here to help you on this morning. I pray that you will receive that the way up to God is to be low, but the way to be in the kingdom of God is to be low in the way to the kingdom of God, just like our Lord is to be low. You have to broadcast how much power, how much you have. But if you understand the word of the Lord, our God 
is a savior. He is and still the savior of this world. I thank God that I don't have to follow the world, what it dictates, but to be low is to be like Jesus. Woo, glory to God. I'm almost done this morning. I need you to understand in Matthew 26, 73 and verse number 74, the Bible says, and after a while came unto him that glory to God stood by and said to Peter, surely thou also are one of them, for thou speech portrays you. I need you to understand. Verse number 74, then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the crock, it crowed in Jesus' name. Jesus' disciples were not a part of the culture, or they could have been part of the culture, learning a man's ability, but they had to accept Jesus just as he was. They were drawn from the low life of backward religion. I want you to know until you're willing to be drawn away from the things of this world. When you're willing, oh, I'm teaching good, to be drawn away from the things of your past. When you're willing to not allow your past to dictate or ever to be repeated, it's willing, glory to God, by humility and humiliation. Or somebody may say, why would Jesus come in on a donkey? Well, it was a form of humility in Jesus' name. Go with me to Exodus 21 and 32. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody has been blessed this morning. Glory to God. Somebody has been blessed this morning. Somebody has seen something for the first time, something new for the first time. I speak it prophetically. Yeah, you may not respond right now, but you're seeing a, a difference. Listen, Jesus, Lord, glory to God. He blesses those that remain humble. Glory to God. Don't mean that you have to be a dope man. Don't mean that you have to broadcast everything. Look at what the Lord says in Exodus. <coughs> <laughs> Acts 21 and 32. For the Bible says, Word of God, Exodus 21 and 32 says, If the ox shall push a manservant or a maidservant, he shall give unto their master 30 shekels of silver, and the ox shall be stoned. When he was finally, Word of God, handed over to the Romans, yeah. he was not given the punishment that merit out of the Roman citizens. Beheading was quick. Glory to God, way to execute someone of any standard. Instead, Jesus was given punishment reserved only for a slave, wow. only for the rebellious members, amen, of the rejected people. Glory to God, he was given the glory to God, ultimately, amen, glory to God, uh, if you will, persecution and judgment of uh, glory to God being glory to God. Hallelujah. Put upon the cross. Crucifixion. Crucifixion is what his glory to God fate was. Ultimately, those two penalties were not just about the pain, but about the humiliation. In first century, Judah, glory to God, Judah, a man, men and women typically covered themselves from head to toe. Even in the scorching heat, a crucified man was stripped naked and put on display for all to see. Right. Glory to God. But there is not primary of glory to God, a story of violence and humiliation. The events of Holy Week are much about love and humiliation. A right. love and humility. Right. Amen. I want you to know. That as we prepare to embark upon this holy week, wow. I pray that you remember this message that is about humiliate, being humble, amen, and loving, amen, glory to God, humiliation, amen, he humbled himself, even through humiliation, he humbled himself, 
That's why on Passion Sunday, we read the powerful words of Paul. Letter to the Philippians, glory to God, second chapter, the sixth through the 11th uh, verse. Who being in the form of God, yes. thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself no reputation no, and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. Wow. And being found in the fashion as a man, well, he humbled himself. Yes and became obedient unto death, well, even the death of the cross. cross. Wherefore God has also exalted himself, yeah. amen, exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name. Uh -huh. Glory to God, at that, at that name every knee shall bow. Oh, glory to God. Yes. And every tongue shall confess. Listen, glory to God of the things in heaven and in earth, and the things under the earth. Well, and verse number 11, which is very, glory to God, critical, amen, for us, but we must understand. Well, and that every tongue shall, shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Yeah. Though the divine word was God dwelling in, glory to God, the heights of heavenly glory. He freely, glory to God, plunged to the depths of human human misery, yes, joining himself to our glory to God, frail nature. Uh -huh. He further humbled himself, accepting the statue of a slave. Yes, Nobody wants to understand this glory to God, difficult, amen, but true, amen, phenomenal, that Jesus humbled himself as a slave. Oh, well, nobody wants glory to God to be a servant anymore. Everybody want to be a boss. But I'm here to let you know <clears throat> in my final, amen, but last, glory to God, conclusion of the matter. Glory to God, but that is just like Jesus. Jesus was not compelled to just walk around with his head high. He was willing to be lowered himself in his birth, in his ministry, and in his death. No one took his life from him. He freely laid it down right. for uh, his own life. John 10 and 18. Others did not have the choice to humble him. He humbled himself. Wow. I am excited on today. I pray that you have received the word of the Lord. Yes. I pray that you have accepted what God is saying to you today. Triumphant, but still humble. Glory to God. Triumphant but still humble, triumphant, but still humble. Jesus used that tragically, amen, glory to God, of walking in on a donkey as one of the most <coughs> profound events in Christianity, amen. He used it to the glory of God. My prayer that you would do the same thing, that you and I will come in and do as just like Jesus. He was our example in Jesus' name. And my prayer is today that we will accept Jesus and give him, amen, just like he gave us. My prayer for you, beloved, that you can be triumphant and still humble. You can be triumphant, but still uh, humble. I thank God for this message on today. I thank God for you. My prayer this morning, beloved, if you would, if you have been encouraged and you have been inspired, that you would like and share and my prayer is that you would follow the page. Amen. Glory to God. I thank God for what God is doing in this hour. Thank you, beloved. Thank you for tuning in. We love you in Jesus' name. Thank you for all of our first-time guests. We love you. We thank God for you. My prayer is, is that we would use this example as, glory to God, amen, a role map, a model, amen, to what we must be. Amen. In Jesus name. Yes. My prayer for you, beloved. Amen. That I declare and decree life over your life. I declare and decree that you would stand on the word of God, that you would do what Jesus did, that I and you would do what Jesus did, that we would stand on his word regardless, that we would stand on his word regardless. Thank God for this message. Thank God for this passion week. Happy Palm Sunday to you. God bless you. And may God forever keep you. <clears throat> this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Well, 
we are praying ministry. And if you desire prayer, we are praying, amen, on a regular basis. We are praying daily, amen, for you. We are praying for you in Jesus' name, amen, that you would, amen, touch and agree with us. We have a prayer now called number 910-324, amen, 4887, 910-324-4887, amen. If you desire prayer, amen, we're here to pray with you. We have individuals standing by to pray with you now, amen, triumphant but still humble. Triumphant, but still humble. Amen. Also, if you desire to pray with us, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Uh, and we thank God for you. Amen. Those that will pray with us during our conference time. Amen. Our conference call number is 605-313. Glory to God, 6040. Amen. If you desire prayer, amen, during those conference times, that's 605-313-6040. That code is 294471 pound. We're seeing miracles. We're seeing people blessed. We're seeing, oh God, the shackles being broken in Jesus' name. 605 313 6040. I thank God for this word today. Triumphant, but still humble. Triumphant. Amen, but still humble. Use that tragedy to your stepping stone in Jesus name. Remember amen that we are on all of the social media platforms thank God for you amen God bless all of you listen we got amen glory to God exciting amen news we are halfway there saints we thank God we are halfway there registration we are halfway there we need your help Amen. Our conference call, prayer number, again, is 605-313-6040. The code is 294471-POUND. We're praying Sunday at 7 p.m., Monday at 12 p.m., Monday at 7 p.m., Tuesday at 4 p.m., Wednesday at 12 p.m., Thursday at 7 p.m., Friday at 12 p.m., and 7 p.m., and Saturday at 7 p.m. Triumphant but still humble. I want you to know today that you can walk in victory just like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask if you will, amen, those that would don't mind giving on today, amen, to sowing, amen, we have ways to give, our cash out, T-L-I-F-M, our Zell, amen, natural praise at hotmail.com. Remember to put true, amen, life or true holiness ministries Amen. In it, so it will go, amen, directly, amen, to be a blessing. We are helping people in Jesus' name. We thank you for your seed. We thank you for your seed. And we're asking those that will in any increment of, amen, seven, thank you, amen. You can give, amen, seven, 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 glory to God, 70, 77, glory to God, any increments of seven. Amen. If you would, we ask for your, amen, help. Amen. There are ways to give. Amen. I'm going to ask, glory to God, that you would take note. We need your help. Also, I want to mention and give a Hawkins an opportunity to share about our, glory to God, 14th annual Holy Convocation. Amen. Well, we're excited about our 14th annual Holy Convocation. We're looking forward Amen. To our guests yes. coming up, Bishop Alona Dixon from St. Uh, Louis, Missouri. We're looking forward to seeing Amen. Prophetess Stephanie Mathis from Sumter, South Carolina, and our very special guest, none other than Apostle Prophet Francis Ayungu from Nairobi, Kenya. Yes. And then on that Saturday night, we'll be having Apostle. Devin Johnson Sr. from Roanoke, Virginia. Amen. And then on Sunday morning, we'll be closing it out. Amen. And we thank God for that at 1030 a.m. God bless you. We love you. Amen. Amen. If you remember, you are triumphant and still can be humble. Amen. Some may not understand how can you be both. Well, it is possible in Jesus' name. We love you. Until next week. We ask that you would share the broadcast. Please share the broadcast. Amen. Those that are giving. Amen. Sowing your seeds. God bless you. God bless you. There is the flyer. 
There's a $25, amen, registration fee. It's donation. We are halfway there, Saint. We need your help. Amen. Glory to God. We need your help. All you have to do is go to truelifeifm.com. Glory to God. And you can do the necessary things that needs to be done. And it will also lead you to the giving options. Thank you. And we appreciate all of those that are giving, those that are giving. I'm telling you, I thank God for you all over. Amen. They are registering. And we thank God. An apostolic stance that brings the prophetic flow. Amen. Ezra 5, 1 and 2. We love you. Until next time, shalom in Jesus' name. God bless you. True life. God bless you.